guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and today I am going to be doing a kind of first impression of some new products that I've got recently. A bit of a chatty get ready with me at the same time, but mainly focus on the new products that I've actually got. I have already moisturized and primed. I used the Benefit Pore Professional because, you know, this teeny tiny little sample. Uh, not too much more Oops, left in that one. So. Um, so the first product that I'm going to look at is from a band, brand called Lichner. Uh, it is, it says blend of porcelain and then camera clear tinted foundation. Uh, apparently these are not, um, it's not a tinted moisturizer. It's like a full on um, foundation. Well, it's supposed to be. Um, it comes in a few different colors. This one happens to be in porcelain. Um, it doesn't look like porcelain. It does not look like my skin tone. However, it does blend out really, really well and you don't need very much. I tried it on the back of my hand, just like literally went like that. And then, and it just keeps blending and blending. So, and it didn't look too bad. I mean, I know the back of the hand is like completely not the right place. So I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to dab a little bit on. I'm going to spread it mainly with my fingers and then use my fake beauty blendery thing. So I'm just going to put a little bit on. We'll see how we go. I think if you used a lot more than I'm using, you could definitely cover pretty much everything. It is scented. Um, it's got that kind of really expensive kind of um, feel to it and similar to it. I put on an extremely thin layer and it has quite nicely evened out most of my skin tone. Um, there are some places I can probably do with a bit more, like where I've got discolouring. I'm just going to put on a bit more. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to blend this bit out. I'm not super keen on wearing really like thick layers of makeup. Um, I have quite a bit of texture in my skin in some ways. Probably because I'm a bit older. You know, quite a few. And particularly on my forehead, I have really deep um, like lines on my forehead. It's funny, I, everything I read on this is like, it's not like a tinted moisturiser. And I can tell you right now, on me at the moment, the amount that I've used is literally working just like um, a BB cream. Like it's not, it's not super full coverage. It's also not, um, not there. It's just, I actually think I really like this. I wasn't sure I would. Because when it said it was like full on coverage. But it's more, it's just evened everything out and made it look quite nice. I mean, I'm sure I could uh, put it on a lot thicker and literally cover everything up. It's not emphasizing the pores that I have. I mean, I use a pore filler, but I don't find that it works very well. <laughs> I'm literally just trying to use it up. It hasn't like fully covered the couple of little blemishy things I have there, but that's fine. And I used like a ridiculously small amount, it looks like I haven't even touched it. So I think I, this is probably, on first impression, one of the nicest finished um, 
base products I've used in ages, it's not because I don't like that really heavy, like, full-on coverage look, which is, you know, strange, so I picked something like this, but I saw it on, uh, uh on sale, and I thought, I'm going to try that out and see what it's like. So, we'll see. We'll see how other thing goes on, other things go on top of it, and I will put in the description box later on, um, what it was like at the end of the day, because that's usually a big, big teller. Um, I'm going to put on a little bit of cream highlighter, mainly because I'm just trying to use this up. Um, basically what I do is, because it's like a jar, I stick the end of my beauty blender in it. <laughs> mainly because I don't have a brush that I want to use. And I just... It'll be virtually unnoticeable when I'm finished, but... Oops, went over a bit far. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of concealer and then I will be back. So for concealer I used my Age Rewind. Uh, mainly because it's quite peachy and it helps colour correct a little bit. And I just realised I've got powder stuck to the side of my nose. <laughs> and my Maybelline Fit Me, which is almost done. And then I set under my eyes with my NYX HD powder. The next product I'm going to do is oops, to set my face. And I have this new 24-hour compact powder. This is from La Cura Beauty, which is an Aldi brand. It's new, and I saw it, and I thought, ooh, and I tried it out, they had like testers in store, so I did try it out on my skin, um, this is obviously a pressed powder, not a loose powder, I normally use a loose powder, um, it comes with a little puff thing, a little plastic cover, which, oh, it's just, That is what it looks like. Hmm, should be okay. It looked okay on the back of my hand. This is the one that is in transparent. So I'm just going to use my big fluffy Real Techniques brush to try this out. mainly to make sure there's not too much so that it's not too heavy looking. I realise I look as pale as a ghost on my on my viewfinder. I look really pale but in my actual um, mirror I don't. It's probably the light coming through the window. It doesn't look too bad. I'm it. A couple of spots might not be quite set. But it basically feels set, so. But yeah, that, that's not actually too bad. I think I'd probably continue to use that when I've used off um, a couple of loose powders that I actually have. Uh, then I am going to I have a new blush. This is also a La Cura blush. This is in a Frosted Rose. There was another one that almost could have been a bronzer, even though it said it was a blush. And it looks like that. Obviously, it's a pink colour. Um, and I haven't done any bronzing or contouring yet. We'll get that. Very pigmented. But blends really easily. So that's nice. Quite like that colour too. Kind of grabbing on here a little bit where I've got a little bit of texture. 
but it's not too, it's not like terrible or anything. It's like it blended really nicely on one side and hasn't blended as nicely on the other side. It's a nice colour. It's not bad for the price that you pay for those. Um, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of sort of bronzering, contouring type thing using the um, AC on tour. I'm really not 100% sure on this. It always just kind of ends up looking a little muddy. Um, I kind of like dab between the three like darker colours. Because if this is... None of them kind of really work properly. But you have to use a really, really light hand because if you put too much on, it just looks like you dipped your face in mud. It sometimes, I have noticed it catches a little bit sometimes. So I've, I've learnt to be really sparing and to use a really big, fluffy type brush. I was trying to like use a contour type brush to like get a really, you know, a more defined contour and it just looks like dirt. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit like that at the moment on my temple right here. At least to me. Maybe I just don't know what I'm looking at. But that's that's pretty much all I do on pretty much a daily basis. I'm also going to use the highlighter shade from this AC Contour. Just to give myself a little, little bit of a glow. I'm not going like cray cray. There's no point going crazy. Well, maybe there is, but... So... I went to Adelaide, and I did some shopping. And when I was doing the shopping, I found out that somebody has decided to mow their lawn. So if you can hear that in the background, I'm terribly sorry. Um, and they're being noisy about it at the same time. Okay, I am going to do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids off camera, and then I will be back. So, um, still mowing the lawn. I took a break, but, you know, they're taking their time. To do my eyebrows, I used the Essence Eyebrow Stylist, which, as you can see, I, I don't have much left in the colour that I'm using. Um, probably won't be done by the end of the year, but I've made huge progress on that this year, which makes me very happy. Plus, I like it. I have been doing my eyebrows orange occasionally because of my hair, but today we're going normal brown. And also the Model Co. More Brows, which has a teeny tiny little brushy thing on the end. And it has a little bit of fibres in it, but not like a huge amount, so it just gives a little bit more structure. And depth to the brow. To prime my eyelids I use the Designer Brands Eyebrow Primer and then set that with my LOL face powder which has a nice huge big pan going in the centre and it's quite thin around the edges of that as well which is very nice. So as I was saying before the, um, the noise from next door started I was in uh, Target. I dragged my poor sons into Target. In the makeup section, they had 40% off of sleek makeup, which every time I see it, I really want to try it, but it's always, you know, it's a little bit on the pricier side in some ways. It's actually not much worse in Australia than uh, Chi Chi is, and Chi Chi is not considered to be hugely expensive. So I picked up a eye palette and a lipstick 
Um, the eye palette I picked up is one of the Eye Divine ones. This one is in Storm. And oh, can't get rid of it. Uh, this comes with one of those throwaway. I wish they just put a normal brush in it. But those are the colours in this one. So there are some mattes and there are some shimmers. I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror. Um, it does have a thing that tells you the colours, but they're it's not printed on the actual thing. So I am going to zoom you in a little bit closer and have a little bit of a play with this. So, first of all, I am going to go in with um, this one here which is called calm before the storm it's just a nice um sort of taupey light tan taupey color and i'm going to use that to lay down as a transition color it was really hard to tell in the store whether or not it was um there were mats in it because the testers were atrocious, like they were so messed up that it was like super hard to tell. That is a really nice colour. This may well become my new go-to. Because I like this. Funny, it's slightly on the warm side and I don't generally reach too much for warmers because I like cool tones but you know with my hair warmer tones I can kind of do kind of lucky I can go either way I'm fairly neutral um, and then I am going to go in with this darker one darker matte which is called eye of the storm just Add a little bit more depth. These aren't too um, powdery. There's not a lot of um, kick up or anything in the pan that I'm noticing. Oh, that is nice. And now the dogs decided to join in with the mower next door. Yeah, so they had quite a few brands that were 40% off. And, I mean, I'm trying not to buy too much makeup because, you know, I have a lot of it. But, it's so nice. These colours are so nice. And then these are blending really, really nicely. I'm not even having to work particularly hard at it, which is always nice, just knows I've got the powder from setting my eyes, oh I like those, okay, so, the dog is losing its mind outside, um, I'm going to dip between Blackout, which is the black one, and Eye of the Storm, just to make a slightly different, slightly darker for this out out of the area. That black is quite pigmented. The black's probably got a bit more kick up than um, the others so far. Not bad or anything, just more. That could, a lot of that could be because it is so, it seems to be pretty pigmented. And then I'm going to go back in to dip between the 
come before the storm and eye of the storm. And just make sure that that's nicely blended. I'm not going for like a super smoky eye or anything at the moment. Never know, I might change my mind. It happens. But as you can see, I have a lot of brow space here. Um, but I don't generally go up too high. Um, my eyes are pretty hooded, you can tell when I do that. So they are pretty hooded, um, but that is that is what it is. Okay, so on the lid, so many choices. Um, there's this really awesome green and there's a really awesome blue. And I'm very tempted by both of them because they're usually colours I, I go towards. Um, the blue is called Electric Storm and the green is Storm Cloud. And then there's Gathering Storm, which is kind of about halfway between these three here. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this one here, which is called Perfect Storm. And I'm going to, it is quite glittery, uh, not, not quite giving me what I wanted, I might have to wet my brush, I'll just put some on the other side. So I have um, my Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Spray that on it. Yeah, that's a bit better. doesn't quite pack as much of a punch as I was expecting, quite frankly. Mm. Not 100% sure I like that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into... I think I'm going to go into Firestorm, which is this one here next to the one I just used. It's going to go on this out a bit. Add some more variation. It's basically a sort of warm, warmish brown kind of look going on here. be quiet. So that is the upper part done. There are some really interesting colours in here. If you want me to do a swatch video of all of these then let me know down below and I will do that. So yeah, that's a little sleek Storm palette, quite nice, um, I'll probably dip back into that to do under my eyes in a minute. Um, I am going to put on some eyeliner and then I will be back.
So I have put on eyeliner. I used the Artist Selection Gel Eyeliner um, with a Real Techniques silicone thingy. What's it? Then I set it with Blackout from the Sleek palette. Um, I tightlined my upper waterline with this Anika um, eyeliner in Black Caviar and put on one coat so far of the Revlon Customize Mascara. Now I'm just going to go into um, Eye of the Storm, which was the slightly deeper brown matte, and just run that using an angled brush just underneath the eye. Then I'm going to go into the this one here, which is a firestorm, just to go over that. going for a huge amount of colour under the eye, just a little. Oops. And then I'm going to take the colour that is called Snowstorm, which is this one here, and I am going to pop that in the tear duct area. Just using a cotton tip to do that. Because I forgot a pencil brush. I'm also going to tightline the waterline with the L'Oreal in the nude. Oh. On the bottom lashes I am using, even though it doesn't necessarily go with this look, um, my NYX purple mascara because it doesn't look purple and I like using it on my lower lash line. of this Revlon mascara on the top lashes. And that is the eye look done. Yes, yeah, scoot you back out. And we will look at lipstick. Um, first of all, I'm actually going to line my lips with this L'Oreal uh, Invisible Lip Liner. because it's in a project. I'm trying to use it whether or not it works or not is another point. Um, so I have two lipsticks to choose from. I'll swatch both of them because I don't know which one's going to look better with this eye look. Uh, so the first one is also from Lacura. It is the 24 hour duo lipstick in Fancy Plum, which sounds like it will go really well. It looks like this. Give it a little swatch. Let's get a nice flat, flat doe foots. It's actually quite sheer. A lot more sheer than I thought it was going to be. Kind of one that looks like it's going to need a lip liner underneath. And the other one is a sleek lipstick. It is 
one of the VIP Metallic, and this is in Superstar, if I can get into it. This is what the packaging looks like. Uh, holographic, yay. And I love the bullet on this. It's got all these facets in it. It's really interesting. As you can see, it is purple. Which is probably no surprise for me. <laughs> so that is the colour. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, why not? Let's go with purple. It is a very creamy feeling lipstick, probably the kind of lipstick that is going to get everywhere. Not that I mind that because I just don't, but this colour is awesome. I love this so much. Right up my alley. It's kind of a really nice deep purple with a nice pink kind of reflect in it. Don't know that I'd necessarily say it's metallic as such. Um, it's shiny, but I don't know that it's really what I would consider to be a metallic. But it is super pretty. So that is my look for today. Um, some interesting new products. I really like the Sleek palette. Love this lipstick. So far, I'm liking the Lechner foundation. It uh, it feels nice. I'm I'm quite glowy, which is not necessarily a problem. It's one of the things I've noticed. There's a lot of matte makeup out, and because I'm a little bit older and my skin's a little bit on the drier side, even though it's kind of oily as well, uh, a lot of these really matte foundations and stuff just don't look good on my skin. Um, this, it looks nice and it doesn't, I mean, I can tell I'm wearing foundation. Um, I might need to be a bit more careful about setting because up on my forehead, me, there's a little bit of sinking into the creases I have, but they are very deep and that happens with pretty much everything. So, yeah, so that is it for today's video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Get Readies With Me and First Impressions. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.